Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com So in this lecture we are going to talk about how we can read the pdf files in python So this is very frequently uh, asked question and very frequent requirement while working with test automation is how do we read the pdf or how we can validate the content in pdf okay let's say you have one application which you have automated or let's say you have some application which simply runs couple of steps and finally it gives you all the information in a combined pdf so as a part of validation sometimes we need to validate whether this record is there in the pdf or not whether this field is available in the pdf or not so it is one of the requirement which i am sharing with you but it can be a number of requirement where you need to read pdf so when it comes to reading pdf in python it's very very easy you just need to use one package called pypdf2 and with the help of few lines you can read the python files okay so let me show you how first of all you can go and search for a package called pypdf2 and you will be getting a pypdf2 as a package as usual we are going to install this package and then we can start working with this particular library so you can see something about this project it's pure python library built as a pdf toolkit and it is capable of all this stuff you can extract the information that we are going to do now you can split the document page by page you can merge you can crop and you can do other stuff as well it also includes encryption and description of the pdf file so please go ahead and explore this library it's very interesting and damn easy so as usual what we will do we'll install this so i will copy this let's go back to our pie chart and i'm going to click on terminal and let me simply clear this so just type pip install or already we have copy pasted but yeah let's write py pdf2 only y is uh, small rest everything is capital hit enter it is going to download this package and then we can start using it so it is collecting by pdf2 downloading and it is collecting the packages and it's done so it's done with this version which is 1.26 at the time of recording this session so in order to read let me create a separate package you can go with any existing package as well just to keep everything simple i am creating a fresh package and a fresh file so i will give this package name is read pdf and let me create a python file and i will say this is read pdf data so as usual first of all we need to import pypdf2 that we have just now downloaded now i need this file right then only i can read so as a sample guys i have one pdf which i will show you but you can read any pdf so let me show you the sample pdf which i have which i want to read so guys i have the sample pdf file so if you just double click you will see some dummy text and some random text is written but you can have your proper pdf file which you want to read the process is exactly the same okay so i have downloaded the sample pdf from uh, some site so i will simply copy this right now i will keep under current package okay where we are working but you can read this from any location you just need the location and you can simply read so right now i will simply call open function that we have seen earlier where we need to provide the file path right now i have pdf in the same location so i will say sample.pdf and now i need to open this in a read mode so even if you don't mention it's fine you can by default it will be in a read mode but in order to read pdf files we need to open this in a read binary form or mode so i will say rb so in the previous lectures we already seen right if i want to write the pdf again i will be writing in a binary mode so when it comes to reading pdf we need read in a binary mode so that's all you will get a file object now we can simply use this file object uh, while reading pdf file so now we can use pypdf2 and the moment you type pdf file reader so you can see this is a separate class available which we can use and here we just need to provide the file that we have created okay so this is the file that uh, that i want to read actually you simply need to pass and that's all 
you will get object of now this PDF. So just store this into a variable called reader. Now once you're done, now you are good to go. So let's say I just want to see how many pages I have. So right now this is a very small file. So it has only two pages, but still let me just take number of pages. I will say num pages and let me simply run. So you can see we got number of pages is two. If I have multiple, you will definitely get the different count. Now you need to tell exactly uh, which page you want to extract because number of pages I got two. But if you need to get the information from a particular page. So first of all, we need to provide which page you want to refer. So you can see it is asking you give me the page number. So let's say in our case, I want to refer the first page. So I have to start with zero index. So the moment you pass get page zero, you will get the page. So let me store into page one. Okay, and now I need the final data. So I cannot directly say page one. I need to extract the text, right? So I will say page one and I will simply call a method called extract text. Okay, and uh, it is going to return into a variable. So let me store into variable first, then I will print this. So I will keep this as data or to be more precise PDF data. You can see how easy it is, right? Simply I'm opening a PDF file in a read binary mode. Okay, I'm passing the file object, then we will get reader. And from there I will take which page I want to read and I will call this method called extract text and we'll get this data, which I will simply print. So simply right click and let's say run. And you can see we got this text, right? A sample PDF file, this is a small demonstration PDF file. Let me open this so that we can cross verify. So this is my project. So better if we go from here. So I will right click on our package and I will click on show in Explorer. And uh, this is our package. Just open this. This is the sample PDF which we have. So I will open with Google Chrome. And uh, you can see this is the exact text we got. So this is ending with continued on page two. So let's go ahead and verify. Yes, you can see we got this. Now if you want the data from second page, so let's see what we have in the second page. It says simple PDF file two. So let's do one thing. Again, I will say reader dot get page. I will give one. One means second page because we are passing the index. This time I will store this into page two. And again, we need to extract the data, right? So I will say page two dot extract data, sorry, extract text. And that's all. So let's see. And I will just make this as a custom print here that data from page two. That's all. So let's right click and run. And you can see this is the first page and this is the second page. It says data from page two and this actually is giving all these details. So once you got the data, it's in a string format. You can validate how you want. And in our previous lectures, we have seen how to perform assert, right? So now I can put a assert. So for example, let's say I want to put a assert that I just want to check in second page, do we have this boring keyword or not? Okay, I'm just using some boring keyword here, but in your real time, you can have whatever field or whatever data you want. So I will just uh, create a separate file so that I should not create a mess here. So I will just keep read PDF data too. And uh, let me remove everything and uh, let me keep this as page one. And let's remove this as well. I don't want to print number of pages this time. We'll get the PDF data. And now I will simply, yeah. So 
again what we are doing same thing I just change the index number from 0 to 1 we'll get the second page from second page we're extracting the data and now I will say assert uh, what we're expecting I'm expecting boring keyword so assert boring in you need to provide the string in which you are validating so I just want to check is boring present in this PDF data or not So just right click and run and you can see it is not giving any error it means it is present so let's do one more thing let me give one more assert and this time let's take the negative scenario where I will expect Mukesh definitely Mukesh is not present in the PDF data so let's print the data again so definitely the second assert is going to fail and you can see we got assertion error it says assert Mukesh in PDF data so guys this is how you can read the data from PDF and this is how you can assert I know it's very small program but very useful very handy when it comes to validation and in case if you are interested how to create PDF we already have a dedicated video on this so please check out the description I will put all this code everything in my blog so I will give that blog link in the description as well so that's all for this video so guys if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel like this video share with your friends and I will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye